Hey folks, Nass here with another Medieval Dynasty Tips for Beginners guide. In this guide, we're actually going to be talking about an achievement uh, and one that can be easily missed and a pain in the butt to go back and try and get. Uh, and it's actually the Lumberjacked Achievement. Now this achievement is where you end up turning in 1,000 logs to Walrin, the gentleman who is actually right next to me here in the field, and it's tied to a quest, Unigost Story 4. You can see it there on the right hand side of the screen, bring 1,000 logs. Uh, now a lot of people know that you can actually skip this portion. Um, the quest line does allow you to do that. However, if you actually try to turn the logs in to Walrin, you actually get the achievement for turning in a thousand logs. Otherwise, you can skip it by choosing the option, um, you know, questioning Walrin whether this is a joke or not. Um, and it can be easy to miss getting that achievement because if you're thinking, oh my God, I do not want to go out and chop a thousand, <laughs> chop down and get a thousand logs. Uh, so in order to get a thousand logs, you would need to, uh, at the very least, chop down 250 of the maple trees because the maple trees give you four logs per tree. Uh, and that's the best way to actually acquire the thousand logs. Um, I'm going to give you some little tips today on how to acquire the thousand logs, but I would recommend that you change a couple of settings first. So we're going to go into here. We're going to go into game settings. This way you can bring the thousand logs to Walrin at one time rather than trying to bring them over and stack them or try to turn them in, you know, a little bit at a time and stuff like that. This way you can just do it all at once. Um, but you want to go into your gameplay settings and I would recommend changing all of the, the unlimited stuff and checking it off. So unlimited HP, stamina, hunger, thirst, uh, and, and specifically the unlimited carry weight. Uh, this way you are not, uh, encumbered because if you're trying to carry a thousand logs, you're not going to move because you're going to be carrying too much weight. So you want to, you know, tick this. That way you can actually carry the thousand logs uh, to Walrin and try to get this achievement. So you can actually see in my inventory, I have the thousand logs. Actually, I have a few extra. <laughs> and I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you some more tips on how to collect your logs. So let me head over to the area where I actually collected my logs at. And I found this to be the safest and probably the, the most productive area to collect your logs. So if you actually wanted to chop down the trees uh, and collect your logs, it really doesn't take a long time to do this with some of the tips that I'm going to give you today. So let me head over there. Alrighty, folks, we are at my... Uh, clear cutting area as you can see there's a bunch of stumps of course it's i've had to sleep the night because it was starting to get dark by the time i got over here and of course it is raining the next day so that is a lovely and helpful for the video but anyway let me open the map and i'll show you where i'm at i am actually just west of borowu so here's gustovia your little starting village you actually start up here you run down into gustovia and start your quest there course I just made I started doing some buildings and stuff here so I could advance through to get to this quest so I could do this video for you and then my clear cutting area is all up in here so I I went just above this road a little bit um, and then I cleared out this entire area of the maple trees only I only did the maple trees I didn't bother with any of the spruce or birch trees because the spruce only gives you three logs per tree the birch gives you two logs per tree and that's if you leave the stump if you take the stump then you get one extra log per tree which I don't recommend taking the stumps especially when you're clear cutting because if you take the stumps none of the trees will grow back You'll just have this big barren space that um, isn't pretty at all, basically. But I went through and I, I did this with four iron axe. Now you can make you a some stone axes to use as well. That way you don't 
completely wear out your iron axe in trying to chop down, uh, or excuse me, chop up 250 trees. Because you have to chop the tree down first. Go over here, find me a little maple tree. You chop the tree down first. With the iron axe, it takes three hits to chop down the tree. Then, once the tree is down, it doesn't matter what axe you use, you can actually use a stone, which I have a stone axe right here. You see down there in the bottom right corner of the screen, I've got the stone axe. But you can change and switch to your stone axe and take two hits, and it turns the tree into logs, which you can then pick up the logs. Then switch back to your iron axe, chop down the next tree. Now, to be more efficient, you actually want to go and pick up a potion. And you can actually buy this potion. Let's, let me actually show you the potion here. It is going to be Potion of Strength. Now, you can see the Potion of Strength, it lasts two minutes. And it gives you plus 50 damage. 50% 50 more damage. So, that's really nice. So, once you take this... With the Iron Axe, it only takes... Let me, let me go ahead and consume this and I'll show you. And whoops, I probably should have found a maple tree first. Oh, there's one right over here. Nope, oh, right here. So we have the Iron Axe. And then we're going to hit this maple tree and it's only going to take one, two hits and it's down. So you save yourself one extra hit. Then you continue going along... Let me find a little cluster of trees real quick while I still have the buff. You can see it there in the bottom left. So you sit here and you literally go around chopping the trees. Don't worry about chopping them up. Just go around, chop down a bunch of trees while your buff is still active. This is where the, the unlimited stamina comes in. That way you don't have to worry about stopping and building your stamina back up. You can just come through here and chop all these trees down. What I would do is uh, use three potions. So you use one until it falls off, then put another potion until it falls off, do another potion until it falls off, and then go back. You can see I'm getting a lot of trees down and I've wasted time running to find some of these trees. But you can go around and chop these trees down, and then once your potion wears off, and you can do it with each potion. You don't have to do three potions in a row, but they do not stack. You have to do one potion. Oh, there's a cart right there. I didn't even see that. Um, so you have to let the one potion wear off before taking the next potion. Then once your potion wears off, then you go back, switch to your stone axe, and you're going to want to have a few of these on hand. Um, I would probably recommend somewhere between six or seven. I don't remember how many I used to do this, but you go and hit this twice and then it turns it in the logs and then you pick it up and you just go around and you do that for all the trees that you fell behind you. As you can see, I've made a big mess along the road, all that good stuff. So this area that I'm in is nice and safe up until you get beyond this point here. You start running into Wysant over here and you want to... This area here makes it really nice because you don't run into anything that's aggressive. And again, unless you go north of this little marker, then you run into stuff that's going to be aggressive and then you have to deal with that and it just wastes time. Now, how long did it take me to go through and do this? A little over two full days in game. So um, I'm not... I'm not sure exactly how long a day is. If somebody knows, you can leave that in the comments below. That would be great if you know exactly how long an in-game day is uh, from midnight to midnight. Let me know in the in the comments below because I've, I've never really tested it and it'd be nice to know. Uh, but anyway, it took me just over two full days to chop down and chop up and collect the logs from... 250 maple trees. Also, there's another little thing that you can do. This doesn't really help you with collecting your logs, your thousand logs. However, it can help you in game to increase your skills. 
or your skill points for uh, excavation and we can go into the customized game setting and then you're going to scroll down here to the XP gain multiplier. Now when I did this I left it on 100% uh, but what you can do is you can take this XP gain multiplier take it to 1000%. This is going to help you max out your and you accept the changes and then you go back out of here escape out of there go into your skills what that's going to do, the XP gain multiplier, is going to help you gain your extraction skills while you're chopping down these trees. That way it'll help you max this out. So as you're getting your points in excavation while you're chopping down your thousand trees, you're going to be gaining those points. You want to put three of three in extraction knowledge. This is going to help you get the 15% more experience gain from extraction activities. Now this helps with chopping down trees or mining ores or getting stone or limestone or whatever extraction activities you're going to be doing. But the fact that you're doing this while you're collecting your thousand logs is really beneficial. That way you can max this skill out much faster. Um, but I would recommend going into the extraction knowledge three of three. Uh, another thing that's really nice is going to be the force of nature, which lowers the durability of your axe while you're using it. So that's very helpful as well, especially if you had to buy the iron axe, which I ended up having to buy two of the iron axe that I used in chopping down these trees. I did run around the map and I found the other three because I had five on hand, but I only used four to do this particular activity. Uh, so you can scour the map and look for iron axes if you want to. Uh, otherwise, I would buy them. Uh, because it's going to take you much, it's going to take you twice as long if you're doing it with the stone axe. Because I want to say the stone axe takes five hits to bring down a maple tree as to where the iron axe takes three hits to bring down the maple tree. And with the strength potion, the iron axe can bring down a maple tree in two hits. So it's a total of four hits to bring the tree down and chop it up into the logs. Alrighty, folks, we are back in Tootki. We have our thousand logs. I'll go in, I'll show you. We got our thousand logs right there. Before you talk to Walrand and turn these logs in, you want to make a hard save of this game. Don't use the F5 button, it's not going to help. You want to actually save the game from this point. And I'll show you. So you go in, make a save. I've got two saves right here. This is the save that I'm on. This is my new save. We'll just do save logs right there. So that way, when I'm done getting the achievement, I can reload back to this point and I get my logs back. So what we do is we go in, we talk to Walrand. We have the thousand logs on us right there. Walrid. I got to get used to that. Uh, let's see here. So, okay, here's what you asked for a thousand logs. So they're going to go through here. They're going to talk about it being that Walrid played a joke on Rasimir. And regardless of what options you choose, it, the outcome is still the same. And then once you end the dialogue, you can see we've lost our thousand logs up there in the top left of the screen. The Unigaz Story 4 updates. Uh, and then we have to talk to Walrid again to advance the quest farther. However, we've lost our thousand logs, but you should also have your achievement at this point. So now what you can do is you can go back in, you can load that save. So there's the, the save that we just did, the one logs. We can do that. And now you're back to the very same point we were at before we even talked to them. You can see that we've got the quest on the top right hand side of the screen. Unigas Story 4, bring 1,000 logs. If I open up my inventory, you can see there I've got my 1,000 logs back. Now, what you want to do, where's, where's he? Oh, he's down there at the end of the road. What you want to do is you actually want to drop 
all of the logs on the ground. There. I don't have my logs. They're right there on the ground. Now, if you go and talk with uh, Walrid now, you're going to have a different option to talk to him. So now you can actually talk to him. Now you're like, okay, wait a minute. You're just pranking me. So the dialogue is a little bit different now, and you're going to have a different quest to complete with Walrid in order for him to talk to you more about uh, the, the, the group of Jordan and Sambor and Unigost and Walrid uh, and, and all of that. So that way you can get the achievement, you can actually keep your 1,000 logs and progress the storyline. And that's the best way to do this. Otherwise, you lose the logs and then you progress the storyline. So make sure you save before you give Walrid your 100 or 1000 logs. Then after you get the secondary option for uh, the cow quest, so to say, you'll know what it is once you get to that point. I don't want to do any spoilers for it. Then you can go back and you can pick up your 1,000 logs. You'll have your achievement. You've got your logs. You're good to go now. Now you've got 1,000 logs that you can use for your village. So you don't lose the logs with this process. Anyway, folks, uh, if you've made it to this portion of the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this game save available in the description below. You wanted to be lazy and didn't want to chop down the trees. You just wanted to get the achievement or maybe you missed the achievement opportunity by doing the quest line and skipping it uh, and going on to the cow rather than doing the logs. I'll make this game save available. That way you can download it and put it into your game files. You can load this game up. You can complete this quest with the logs and go ahead and get your achievement. But anyway, folks, if you like this video or it helped you in any way, please make sure to click that like button. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Make sure to tick that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I put out a video. You can find the links to my Discord, Buy Me a Coffee, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit all down in the description below, along with the download for this game save. So go ahead and make sure to download that. There will be instructions on how to install it. That way you can access it through your game menu. But anyway, you folks take care and happy hunting.